It's that time again. Hey guys, what is up? Hola, como estas? Hola, como estas? I had too much pre-workout, so I'm feeling like fucking, oh God. What is up you guys? Anyway, how are you guys doing this beautiful, marvelous, wonderful, sickening ass coochie day? I ran out of words. And I thought it'd be really, really fun to do today's video, guys. I had the idea, and I'm sure so many, so many of people have done this already, but I wanted to do a going to Ulta, asking the Ulta employees to help me pick my face, something that's gonna be catered towards me, towards my skin, everything about me. When is it not? This woman, wow. Get! Yeah. Um, no! Are we good? But anyway, like I was saying before I was so rudely interrupted by my own self, is that I'm gonna tell them that I'm oily combination, and what kind of things I like. I'm gonna see if they pick out a full face for me that's gonna be catered towards me specifically. And I'm hoping and praying that it's gonna be sickening the house down boots. I'm so excited, you guys. I'm so excited, like a virgin. I'm wearing white today, you know, like a virgin, touched for the very first time. However, the only spot on my body that's a virgin is probably the back of my knee, for sure. So I thought it'd be really fun. I wanted to take you guys along with the journey with me. You guys seem to really do enjoy my vlogging experiences when I'm out and I'm driving. Huh? We're in fucking Hollywood. The men are gorgeous, the women are gorgeous, and I'm gorgeous. You know, it's just a gorgeous fest. So let's get the fuck to Ulta. As always, if you guys like this video, if you guys don't like me, I don't care! <laughs> I'm just kidding. <sighs> Am I though? <laughs> I'll see you soon. Peace and blessings. <laughs> So we're here, we have Patrick. Hi. <laughs> okay, so I already gave him the rundown and he was like, this is really nerve wracking, but we're gonna do it anyway. I'm gonna tell Patrick my skin concerns. I am oily in like the baby T zone, which is like, eh, eh. Okay. And then combination everywhere else where I'm like basically like drier in other areas. Okay. So we're gonna do like a full routine. Okay. I'm game. Okay, we'll start with Clinique on this side and work our way around. Cute, sickening. First off, I am in love with um, the hydrating jelly. Okay, hydrating um, jelly. What sets us apart is it's good for all skin types, but it also has hyaluronic acid in it, so it digs deeper than a moisturizer, whereas moisturizers just kind of sit on the surface. Mm -hmm. This digs deeper into the cells for that overall hydration. Um, so, so one of these? Yeah. Okay, put it, like literally put it in my cart. Ooh, Everything you recommend, is. like that is what we're doing. And I also like full coverage. So something kind of hydrating, also primer too. but not overcompensating on the oil. Yes. Okay. Um, <laughs> professional matte rescue. Yeah. Sick me. So this has silicones to kind of smooth out the surface. And then- Yes, bitch, a mini you too. Out. You have to also match my foundation shade to my shade. Absolutely. <laughs> I might throw at that. He's <laughs> like, actually, that's exactly what I need to do. He said, I want to do some Becca. I said, all right, girl. So we have some shades here. <gasps> yeah, some yellows, some pink, some neutrals. Works. I literally love like a neutral foundation. Like that is like my go-to. She likes to be neutral. She's a neutral girl. <laughs> um, we're gonna hope this is a one-time <laughs> match. <laughs> and it's a little yellow. Mm-hmm. But she wants to be tan, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, it is a bit yellow for me. It's slightly off from your neck color, which I Absolutely. I love matching from you know head to toe typically. Mm -hmm. Driftwood. Driftwood. We're drifting. Oh, I'm scared. I'm scared too. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's still a little yellow. I think that's even more yellow than the other one. Yeah. The what heck? is wrong with my face? What is wrong with me matching? <laughs> you said that you were good at the. I really <laughs> am. You have wipes, right? To take this off. Oh no, you have to walk around like this all day long. We have found another shade. We're gonna use the shade Vanilla. I have more faith in Vanilla because my color is very deceptive. It's, you don't know what it is. Gotta try. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're fucking trying. <laughs> oh my God, that's so light. What is wrong What's with us? What's going on with this? <laughs> we're gonna figure this out. <laughs> oh my God, I'm looking like Casper's uncle. <laughs> his gay, his gunkle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna try cashmere on this side. Okay, cashmere on that side. I think cashmere might be super cute. <sighs> I have faith in cashmere. It sounds fancy, so. It does, it sounds very expensive. Okay, the thing is you guys, with more full coverage foundations, there's less leeway when it comes to color. The more full coverage you go, bitch, it needs to be perfection. I definitely agree, because it's so pigmented. Yeah, and it's gonna be like that, it's, it's the like, color. That's there. It's there, Is it, period. I think cashmere is looking so much better. Way better. I feel like it matches your neck, which is great. It does. Other than my, I like discoloration on my neck, but other than that, the real color. I think Miss Cashmere is the one. I mean, my fucking camera is so, I look hideous, but <laughs> in real life, it's cute. She's <laughs> sickening. Okay, you guys, so we are back in the room and we have our bag of goodies that Miss Patrick picked for us. He was the sweetest 
little thing. So thank you again to Patrick for helping me. You were so sweet, you are so amazing. I know you were nervous to help me out, but I appreciate it so, so freaking much. So we're gonna go on in and we're gonna pull out all of our shit. Bitch, I spent 366. You and you saved me some, me some money and you still got me fucked up. Okay, so we have here the Clinique Dramatically Different Hydrating Jelly, and that's what we're gonna use for our moisturizer. My skin is pretty hydrated right now. As you guys can see, I've moisturized during the daytime, so I actually am pretty hydrated right now. I'm gonna put this all over the skin, and it's just like a lightweight hydrating jelly. It's like a moisturizer, but it's a very, very, very lightweight version. I actually really like this, because I feel like it's super thin and lightweight, and I actually have used it before, and I really do like it, so that was a really, really good pick for me. Thank you so much to Patrick for Patrice. Thank you, Patrice. Okay, so for our foundation, as you can see, we chose the Becca foundation. Foundation. And we're gonna go in with the shade that we have here. I'm gonna take a pump of that on a beauty blender. Bitch, this coverage is so real. Oh my god. You guys, we were struggle city in that store. Like we were saying, the more full coverage you go, bitch, the fucking harder it is to come back from. Like there's no leeway, there's no forgiveness, baby. The more full coverage, there's no forgiveness. You guys, the consistency of this foundation is kind of odd because it's a little sticky. Of course, like the coverage is definitely more of a full coverage foundation. I would say like a dewy satin finish. It's definitely not mattifying of a finish. And I would definitely say it's more on the full coverage, maybe higher end medium to full coverage, I would say, but definitely still on the full side. And it's very thick. This is one of the thickest consistency foundations in quite some time. And I don't necessarily like that. I actually think that because it is so thick and dense and heavy. I'm not the biggest, biggest fan of that consistency. I do like the finish. I think that it's really pretty and more like skin-like, but it's so insanely dense and feels actually pretty heavy on the skin to me. Have you guys ever used this? This is the Ultimate Coverage 24 Hour Foundation. How does it look up close though? That's, that's, the, that's the test. Hmm. <gasps> I forgot about primer on. Are you joking right now? Am I a mess? Am I okay? Okay guys, so far with this one, I really do not really enjoy this foundation. I think it sits on top of the skin. I think it looks pretty fucking heavy. It's too thick of a consistency. There's a lot of things I don't really enjoy about it, to be honest. That's coming off. <laughs> That's coming off. So we're gonna go ahead and move on, even though I forgot to put primer on, which I did have. I had the professional matte rescue, but I actually have used it before. Luckily, with a lot of these products I actually have used before. So I'll be able to tell and talk about them a little bit more. So this is a professional, you guys. The consistency is different. It's not the same as professional. It's like a not silicone-y type feel. It's literally like a gel, but it keeps you more matte throughout the day. And it really, really does keep you more mattified. If you are someone that's really, really oily in the T-zone, great for the oiliness in the T-zone that will appear. And on the forehead, I would use the super matte mattifying jelly. So for concealer, <laughs> Ms. Patrick chose our Clinique Beyond Perfecting Super Concealer Camouflage 24 Hour Wear in the shade 10 Fair. So we're gonna go ahead and use Miss 10 Fair and see how this looks on us. I'm gonna spread her out a little bit. Oh my God, the little goes the longest way. <gasps> okay, we're gonna just tap, tap, tap. Oh, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. We're gonna go ahead and blend that out. So guys, this one, I'm feeling the concealer. It's a medium coverage concealer. It's definitely not anything full coverage. To me, at least for under eyes, you guys, I like to go in with more of a full coverage concealer. So this concealer to me is not going to be, you know, the one. Definitely great for, I feel like, more of a natural day. Like if you're looking for more of a concealer that's going to give you more of a natural finish, nothing too heavy or too ham. I think you guys are actually going to enjoy this concealer. However, for me, because I do like more of a full coverage concealer, it's not going to work out for my skin preference. I like to cover more of the blueness, more of the darkness underneath my eyes here, and you can still see them pretty clearly, even with the concealer on. So I'm gonna go ahead and pass on the concealer for me, because I don't like it. You can still see a lot of blue hues. <laughs> <laughs> Turn that shit off. Now we're gonna go in with more of the complexion products. We are going to grab a powder, a setting spray, and a bronzer blush and highlight. So let's go and see what Patrick chose for us. Okay guys, so we have the complexion basically done. Now we're gonna go in with the powder. And what powder are we thinking? I picked up some It Cosmetics. It Cosmetics, translucent powder. Sickening, okay, I like that. And then what about, I need like bronzer, blush, highlight. So I like to pair all of those together into a palette and we thankfully have one. Smashbox came through with their Cali Contour palette. Oh, so we like to save some money. Mm -hmm, absolutely. So we like to save some coin. I love that so much. Yes. And what are you thinking for the setting spray? Um, I really love Ma uh, Max Fix Plus and we're using the gold light to give you back that radiance after we kind of matte you out a little bit. I love Fix Plus. 
that's like my go-to setting spray. I use it all the time, just like as a refresher. I don't really use it for like longevity, but as a refresher, I like to use it a lot. We're gonna put those in the cart and we are gonna keep on moving. Okay guys, so as you can see, we have the Bye Bye Pores Poreless Finish Airbrush Powder by It Cosmetics. It Cosmetics does beautiful products. So I'm excited to try this out, you guys. I like It Cosmetics products. Mm -hmm. More so the CC cream. That's what I've actually really, really used and honed in on. I don't know a lot about the other products that they have, to be honest. Okay, the cool thing about this concealer, though, you guys, I will say, is that it's not falling into my wrinkles underneath my eyes as easily or as fast. Mind you, I think it's because it's more of a lightweight concealer. It's not like a full coverage concealer, so it's a little bit more... Forgiving, let's say forgiving is the correct word, is forgiveness. Forgive one another, you know, forgive. Okay, so we're now gonna go ahead and use the Bye Bye Pores Powder. Bye it. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. So about this powder, hmm. So listen, do I think that it made my pores look smaller? Yes, actually, I think it does do a great job at not emphasizing my pores or my texture. However, do I think that it does a great job at setting my face in place? We shall see. It's such a thin, thin powder, you guys. It's like a silica-based powder, too, and this will not last on me. Like, this will not be a type of powder that will keep me from getting oily throughout the day. Like, this is not that type of powder. So, I'm just gonna apply a little bit more. And like, knowing how this powder works, I would have, of course, used a beauty sponge and applied the powder like that. But because of how this powder is, it has that white silica base. If I do that with a beauty blender, the white powder will stick to my dry patches and make it look even worse. So I have to use these kind of powders with a brush. So this is going to be another one of those products that I personally don't love. I just enjoy like translucent, like heavier, like powders like this. This is the Too Faced Ethereal Born This Way powder. I just enjoy this like translucent-y type powders and I just feel like it works better for my skin to set my skin in place and it does not give me any kind of white cast. Not saying that this one will or does, however, because of the fact that I do have wet foundation on underneath here, if I were to go in with a beauty sponge or like something like this in, a pat in that powder, it would look a little bit more of a white cast, you know, Casper the Friendly Ghost. A little like that. Let me show you guys what I mean. I'm already set, so maybe won't do it, but I just want to show you guys anyway. So I'm gonna go ahead and pat it in with the sponge. And the thing with patting in with the sponge, I feel like it gives you a little white residue. Like it's not supposed to be patted in with this. Can you tell this side just looks whiter? Like there's more of a white cast. This is why I need a brush with it. They're not my favorite kind of powders. But my mom, I know my mom loves it and I know she loves it powder, so I'm gonna give it to her and she will live her motherfucking fantasy with her A Cosmetics. Okay guys, so now we're gonna go in with some other complexion products and we have this cute little Smashbox Cali Contour Shape Bronze and Glow Palette. And he got me a little palette, which I thought was so sweet because it has everything I could possibly need. It has like bronzer, we have our blush, we have our highlight, we have everything we could possibly need in one. The bitch was trying to save me some money and I appreciate it. So thank you so much, Patrick, you sweet man. And now you guys, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer, the one that's up here. And I'm gonna take this on a Morphe M527, great bronzing brush. I'm gonna go ahead and bronze up the skin. Let's go ahead and use a little bit of this on the temples, on the forehead. I can't tell if this is looking the way it is because of the foundation. Like, cause I feel like it's looking a little patchy. Yeah, it looks better, it looks better. I think that it's acting a little bit odd. Like it's not blending like I know it should be blending on my face. And I think that it could be because of the fact that the foundation is how it is on my skin. Like I just don't think that the foundation is doing me literally any favors at all. I'm just trying to blend this out. Don't you guys feel like it like kind of seems like it's like picking up on my like skin. It's not blending as easily. I think that's the foundation gripping onto the color and not like letting it go and letting it blend. I'm like, baby, I'm gonna need you to let me breathe and let me live on my own. That would be really fucking great. Okay, you guys, also these powders are extremely, extremely, extremely pigmented. And you guys know how I feel about extremely pigmented bronzers and extremely pigmented blushes. They're not my cup of oolong tea, you know what I mean? And I think it's because I just like to build better than See, like, for example, like, what's happening right here, I feel like instead of me getting to build and build and build up a color to be what I want it to be, I deposited right away and it was very harsh in color right away, and I don't know if that's the foundation or if that's the powder itself, but I feel like I'm not able to build up the way I want it to be, and it's harsh right away, and I have to work a lot harder on blending it out to be more of a seamless transition 
rather than it be a very soft wash of color and then me build from there. That is my issue with really, really pigmented powders that are bronzers and blushes. I think we got it to a cute spot. I blended them out as best as I could. So now I'm gonna go in with that blush, which is a really, really, really pretty just peachy blush color. Yeah, it's very pigmented. It's another very pigmented moment. So if you guys are into really pigmented blushes, into pigmented bronzers, I think you guys will like this. And it picks up on the brush. I mean, it picks up nicely. And at least with blushes, though, I feel like the blush is blending easier on me than the bronzer was. And I think that, again, has to do with the amount I put on as well as the foundation. There's something happening with that foundation underneath here. I know there's something going on with that foundation. I know it. I feel it in my bosom. So that's that. What do you guys think? I think that we definitely got it to a nice blended spot for sure. I love the blush. I think the blush is actually stunning. It's a little bit more pigmented than I like to go, but I think the blush itself is really, really pretty. So I'm gonna go in with the Fix Plus Gold Light, which he grabbed for me as well, which is basically a Fix Plus with a golden sheen. I like Fix Plus normally. I don't know how I'm gonna feel about this extra gold sheen. I'm scared. <laughs> I'm scared. Okay, I'm so nervous. Okay, so listen, there was tiny specks of gold glitter on my face. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, moving on. We're gonna go with that little highlighter. We're gonna take this one right here. I'm gonna go in and put this. That's beautiful. <gasps> yes. A little bit more on the powdery side with these highlighters, but honestly, the effect is so there. You guys, I have literal golden particles from that setting spray, that MAC setting spray. I do not like that whatsoever. I will not use that again. Like 1000%, there's literally gold flakes on my face. You know, maybe I can use it for the body, like a little spritzer, a refresher on the body for like a little bit of a golden glow on the skin. I can do it down here and like be golden goddess down there, which is fine. So you just gotta, you just gotta multi-purpose. You just gotta use things all over again, you know what I'm saying? But on the face, honestly, I don't like it. I have literal golden spots. As if the spray goes on your face, it evaporates and it dries down, but the golden particles that are in here are just left behind. And it doesn't look good. It doesn't flow into the skin nicely. It just doesn't, like I don't like it at all, but the, the other highlighter that I'm using, the actual highlighter, is actually very beautiful. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about the complexion products really quickly, the things that I will keep and the things I will not be keeping. I will not be keeping the foundation. I will not be keeping the concealer. I won't be keeping the powder. I will be keeping the bronzer palette that has blush and highlighter in it. The majority of things I will not be keeping just because they're not really working out in my favor for my skin. I just don't like the way that they look. Okay guys, so we're gonna go ahead and move on now. We are done with the face and now we're gonna move on to the brows. So what exactly did Miss Patrick pick for the brows? Patrick, we are moving on to brow. Guide me. Yes, honey, yes, please. I Ooh. absolutely love Olive Benefit because they are the main focus on brows. Uh-huh, so sickening. We'll get you into a pencil and maybe some gel. A gel, and absolutely. Lay them down. What color do you think would be good for me? I have such dark hair. I think a five or a six. Six is gonna be the deepest color, and then five is like a off tone, like a medium tone from that. What pencil are we thinking? Goof proof, precisely. I think goof proof because it um, is literally goof proof and it doesn't take a lot of time. Just okay. swipe and go. Love that. And then we're gonna do a Gimme Brow. Give me brow in the shade six. In the shade six. Love that journey for us. So NYX for eyeliner. So we're gonna go into the brows, you guys. We have two products from Benefit here. As you saw, these are the Goof Proof Brow Pencil in the shade number five, and we have Gimme Brow in the shade number six. So we're gonna go in with some Goof Proof. I actually really like Goof Proof. I really like Precisely. I think that Benefit's brow products are incredible. So when you pick them, I was like, yas queen. Yas queen. Yas queen. <laughs> so we're gonna go in with Miss Shade number five. I've used number five, shade number five before, so it literally works out perfectly in my favor. I've used these before. It wasn't like a complete shocker and difference to me like the other complexion products I had not used. So I'm gonna go in. Oh my God, my face is literally like riddled with gold glitter. Okay, and this shade, you guys, is like I said, it's in the shade number five. It's like a really warm brown. I like to use the shade four and six of Precisely in Goof Proof, so I don't really tend to use number five very much because it's so much warmer than my natural hair color, but it's all good because at least, with, I feel like with, when you have really dark brow hair, you can kind of get away with using so many different colors on the brow. I just really, really feel like that. So I'm gonna go and take a little bit of that, arch out the brow. 
as we can see, it's like a much warmer, almost auburny, reddened brown. And because my hair is black, it's more on the cool tone side. So with this one, it just doesn't like match my color as much, but it's still very, very, very pretty. And we can definitely make it work 1000%. Like she's still cute, she's still sickening, girl. She's still a nice, cute little brow. And I'm gonna go and take the shade, give me brow in the shade six, which is I think, you know, the darkest give me brow shade that they have. But this one doesn't really make a huge difference for me because I have more full brows. But I do like this because I feel like it kind of makes the color a little bit more subdued and not as warm. It like makes the color a little darker. What are y'all thinking? I like her. Okay, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other brow off of camera, and I'll be right back, and we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyes, and we're gonna get so sickening. Okay, guys, so I went ahead and I finished my brows off of camera, and as well, and I primed my eyes with the concealer that we have. You guys, the concealer is a medium coverage, honestly, more on the sheer to medium coverage side. It does not cover very well at all. It's just such a thin, lightweight concealer with not a lot of coverage. So if you're looking for a more of a medium concealer, medium coverage concealer, that's like more on the lightweight side, yes. If you're looking for full coverage, absolutely no. <laughs> absolutely, just fold it in, fold the cheese in. Just fold it in. Anyway, you guys, so now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the eyeshadow palette and mascara and eyeliner. And let's go and see what we picked for those items. And by we, I mean Patrick. We are being guided. Get in? That's not a word. <laughs> We're being guided. <laughs> okay, what eyeliner are we thinking? So I'm thinking the super skinny eye marker because it is a super fine felt tip. However, you can build up the wing as you go. So I like to start small and then just go big if you need to. Should we kick it old school and go to some Maybelline? Absolutely. <laughs> I feel like we should give you a little bit more boost, the last sensational. Okay, that kind of lifts up each of those eyelashes to give you the full volume. Cool, I'm glad that you chose that one. And now we're going with a palette. So what palette are we thinking? Lime crime. Down! Okay guys, that's actually really funny because I've never used anything from Line Crime, not once before. Actually, I've used their Unicorn Bullet Lipsticks before, but nothing new. These are really cute, actually. This is really, really cute. I'm excited to try these out. Perhaps you need a new palette, actually. Line Crime is cuter. <laughs> For the palette, we went ahead and grabbed the Lime Crime Venus Eyeshadow Palette. I've actually never used any eyeshadows from Lime Crime before. The only thing I've ever used from them was the Unicorn Lipstick Bullets from the past, but I see that their brand has grown so much and they have so many more things. I had no idea. When I saw the little section, I was like, oh my God, there's like some stuff there. And for eyeliner, we have this cute little guy, this super skinny from NYX Cosmetics. And for mascara, we have the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I love the Lash Sensational by Maybelline. I think this is a fantastic mascara. Never tried this one from so obviously I'm terrified. I'm scaled. I'm scaled. Also, mind you, this packaging is so fucking thick. Am I crazy? It's as thick as fuck. Also, I noticed for eight shades, this is $38. And I thought that was actually really, really, really pricey of a price point to try a new brand, a new product. I did not know this would be $38. Am I the only one? What do you guys think? Do you guys think 38 is fair for eight shades? What do y'all think? I have no idea. But anyway, that is just my personal opinion. So I'm gonna take the shade Rebirth, which is like this really pretty hot coral on a Morphe M411. It's the only brush I have clean around me. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the crease. I'm gonna start building from there. We're just gonna see what kind of peachy eye we can get going. As we can see, she is pigmented, which I very much enjoy, thank goodness. Woo, woo hoo hoo, I like that, I like the pigmentation. I think that's a really, 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 really pretty shade. I'm so fucking into like bright peach right now. Like there's something about it, man. Like I love, love, love corals and peaches on the eyes right now. I just can't get enough, I can't. I'm unable to get enough. Let's kind of focus it towards the center. How about that? Put the peachy in the middle. Yeah, let's focus it. Let's do a focused kind of halo -y eye. Like a spotlight, like a very spotlight eye. Mmm. -hmm. gusta mucho. We're gonna take the shade Shell, which is like a really pretty peachy shade again. I'm gonna put that in the center. Oh, it has like a really pretty peach pink reflect. It's not popping enough though, what the fuck? Let's take a little bit of Aura as well. See, that's what I'm talking about. Exactly that. The shades also, you guys, feel very nice. They feel very creamy. They're very, very nice. They're not too hard to work with at all. They blend easily. Taking a little bit of the shade Muse. I'm gonna put that on the outer corner. Just to add some depth and dimension into the look. You know, whenever you add any kind of dark color, it's gonna really add some depth to really any look. 
at all. A little bit on the inner corner as well, some muse. So I'm gonna go in with the little eyeliner and we're gonna see how that reacts to the skin. So if the super skinny, and we're gonna go ahead and line our eyes with that and see, I believe that he said this was a very buildable eyeliner. So let's see how this little guy works. Come on, Moon Prism Powder. Fuck, that's sickening. Thank you. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> That's a joke. This is a joke. Huh? I would like to know where exactly the pigment is. Where must one purchase the pigment for this to work? Oh my god. Let's see if maybe me squiggling it on to my arm will help. It's helping a little bit. What happened to you? Who are you? So I don't know if the pen itself is super, like it's maybe it's really, really old, it's super dried out, but I'm not kidding you when I say that's probably the worst eyeliners I've ever tried in my entire life. What just happened? I truly don't know. What was that? You guys, literally, it felt like I was putting a Mr. Clean sponge on my eye and nothing was coming off. So that was a little confusing for me. It's a little confusing of my journey, you know? Very not that. Let me cut my lashes real quick. Let's go and do some Maybelline Sensational. Sensational. What's that? Ooh, I like this mascara a lot though. Ciao, yes ma'am. Cute. Okay guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish the other half of camera. I would say so far of these three products, I enjoyed the eyeshadow palette and I enjoyed the mascara. I did not enjoy the eyeliner by any means, shape, or form. It looks like I literally took a gray eyeliner and smudged it on my waterline. That's what it looks like. It's very confusing. It's not a very, very good product to use. I don't know if mine was just very, very, very dry and the other ones aren't. If you guys have ever used the NYX Super Skinny Eyeliner and you guys have had luck with it and you guys liked it, let me know. Or if you have used it and you had no luck with it, let me know as well because I'm very curious. Is it just me or is it like how it is? I don't know. I wanna take a little bit of that aura shade real quick before I switch over. I'm gonna put that on the brow bone because that shade is actually really just quite beautiful. Just gives a beautiful stunning sheen to the skin. We're moving on. Okay guys, so we went ahead and put our lashes on and I'm using the style Lily Lashes Miami, which is my go-to pair. You guys, you know I love this pair so much. You can use code Manny MUA if you guys wanna buy a pair and save some coin. That's very doable as well. But yeah, I really, really like this pair. I like how the eyes turned out, you guys. I do like them. I think that other than the eyeliner, I think that the shadows work really, really well. They're very, very pretty. Ooh, let's go and highlight them right now as well with Aura. Rita Aura. Oh, it's bright as fuck. That's bright as fuck, I like it. Okay guys, so now we're gonna move on to the lip and let's see exactly what Miss Patrick chose for the lippy. <laughs> so Lipstick Queen, lipstick queen? she's 40% off. So oh my God, we're really that's getting why so clean. I over here because I like saving money but also getting some decent products. I've um, never, I honestly have never heard of this brand ever. Never? No. Well, here we are saving money and learning new products. Love. Saint okay, Nude. Saint. Saint Nude. Love, and love, love. I think we need a glass. We need like a, just like a topper, I think. Yes. Wet cherry. Extra pop in. So this is your like Extra shimmer pop topper with a little bit of pigment. Love that. Love that journey for us. You guys, we have our full face. We are completed. Patrick chose the entire thing for me. This is going to be really <laughs> quite sickening. And I'm, I'm so excited. excited. I'm so excited. I'm really, really excited <laughs> for this. It's going to be so good. I cannot wait. So now, um, back to you, Manny, in the studio. Thank you so much. So as you can see, you guys, we have the Queen Lipstick in the shade Saint Nude. Okay, guys, so we're going to go and take the... And he saved me some coin with that one too, baby. Thank you for saving me some coin. And we have the Lime Crime Wet Cherry Ultra Shiny Lip Gloss in the shade Extra Poppin'. So we're going to go ahead and use both of those and see... That does not look nude at all to me. Do I send some sabotage? This, this is fine. Oh, because it's, like it's like a sheen. Oh my God, it's like a sheen. Okay, so I'm gonna go and use the Wet Cherry Gloss in the shade Extra Poppin'. It's just a clear gloss by Lime Crime, as I said. Oh my God. It smells like cherry, like hardcore. Like, but almost like a vanilla cherry. Like it's not as unpleasant as cherry medicine. I don't like the applicator, this part. 
It's not flocked enough at all. I think this needs a lot more flocking. However, the gloss itself feels amazing because like when you're applying it, it feels scratchy. Usually when you're applying a gloss, you don't want it to feel scratchy going on. Like the uh, applicator needs to be more flocked and that means it needs to have more cushion and push-in for the application, okay? But the gloss itself is, bitch, that is delectable. It feels great. I like it a lot. It does have that cherry scent. I hope it goes away. I don't want it to stay for very long because it's, it's getting a little strong by my nose. <laughs> but it's still very nice. I'd still, I would wear it again for sure because it's a pretty clear gloss. Ah! Okay, guys, and that is it for today's video. Hope you guys had fun watching it. I had so much fun creating it. Even though the majority of the products here did not work for my skin type and I didn't enjoy most of them, what I did enjoy was going to Ulta and meeting Patrick and having fun with him and going through the store. And I just want to say I appreciate it so much. Thank you to the Ulta in West Hollywood for always being so sweet and so accommodating to me. And you guys are just absolutely wonderful. I love the team there. So thank you, thank you, thank you guys so much. It's obviously not your fault that I did not like the products that were, you know, here. And you guys are an incredible team. And thank you for being so sweet to me. If you guys did like it, let me know if I can do um, another one. Maybe I'll do a Sephora version of it and see what Sephora employees pick for me. I think that we definitely got the face to a good spot for sure. It just took a lot of finessing and a lot of work to get here, but we definitely got here. I love it. <laughs> but thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of the night or day wherever you guys are, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you so much. Mwah. These cars out here be fucking crazy. Why does my skin look so clear? Well, we both know it's not. These bitches be fucking trying it, dude. They be fucking trying it. That's the tell. That's the T. That's the tot. What you thinking? I've been drinking. I've been drinking. The little, the mini. The super skinny. The super skinny. We got here. We're here. We're out here. We're queer.